Let's look at decoders. Decoders take a small number of inputs and map it to one of a larger number of outputs. But let's start from the beginning. When we try and build a 2x4 decoder, we get something that looks like this, with four AND gates aligned to outputs charged by two inputs set up to NOT gates. But what's really going on here? Well, we can think of decoders as an address system, where each of these outputs have a unique address. And the reason that our output 1 is on right now is because its address is 0, 0, meaning that it will turn on when both inputs are off. So if we wanted to turn on output 3, what would we have to do? Well, because its input address is 1, 0, all we have to do is turn on input 1 and turn off input 2. And when we do that, sure enough, output 3 turns on. Now try and think what we have to do to turn on output 4. Well, if you said to turn on both inputs, you're correct. And it should be noted that on decoders, only one output can be turned on at a time. But this is pretty complicated to look at. So we can rewrite this simply by using a smaller symbol for a 2x4 decoder. But most of the time, we'll want decoders bigger than this. And by applying this concept the same way, we can create larger decoders, such as the 4x16 decoder. And it should be noted that the number of outputs is always equal to 2 to the power of the number of inputs. Well, that's all there is to know about decoders, and I'll see you in the next one.